Well, good morning, folks. Uh, welcome to another episode of uh, Where in the World is Jim? I'm in uh, Jasper, Alberta, um, and I'm doing really exciting things, you know, uh, like, uh, you know, you ride, you meet people during the day, that's great, but unfortunately then, uh, then comes all the uh, work that goes along with all the videos and the pictures and things that you take. So, uh, you know, motorcycle riders live such exciting lives. Um, on the road. It's so, 1.38 in the morning. Yeah. Um, and what I'm doing here um, is I'm uploading uh, video from uh, today's uh, uh, videos that I've shot today on the Icefield Parkway and I'm uploading them onto uh, my computer and uh, my backup hard drive so that I can uh, edit and make a video. Uh, I've also got a um, little 32-bit, I'm sorry, 32 gigabit disk, uh, which has not even been uploaded yet uh, from the GoPro. Um, and then we have an SD card here, which uh, goes in my uh, Canon DSLR which has uh, pictures that I shot today and I have uploaded them. Um, interesting little side note on this uh, ride today was that I originally planned to go to Grand Prairie um, and didn't make it because I had so much fun on the Icefield Parkway. Now I decide I'm going to stay in Jasper. So I come into this quaint little town called Jasper. Now today is Canada Day. It's For those in the United States, it's kind of like July 4th. So, everybody is all excited. There's going to be fireworks, going to be all kinds of things going on, you know. All right, so I'm hoping to get a room. Well, I found a Best Western, so I decided, you know, Best Western Inn and Suites is what it says. So that's okay, I'll stay there. So, I pull in, I walk in, and they inform me that the entire town of Jasper is without power. Don't know why, been out for about an hour, and somebody says, but nobody knows who, that it'll be on in about another hour. So I say, do you have any rooms available? We think, but we're not really sure, because of course we need the internet. And we don't have the internet, so as a result, if you want to wait around, we'll see what we got. So I waited around. And after about an hour and a half or two hours, we got power back. Well, <clears throat> power surge or whatever fried one of their computers. So, but they did finally get one up and going. So they gave me a room. However, it doesn't have air conditioning. Now, normally up here, that wouldn't be a problem. But just like down in the States, they're having a heat wave. It was 93 degrees when I pulled in. I didn't know they didn't have air conditioning. Nobody really told me that. So, now I, I come walking around, trying to find my room, come in my room. It's all closed up. It's hot. I'll check out and get the air going. Can't find any air. I have no idea where the air is at. Then, oh forgot part of the story. This is this is probably maybe part of the worst part of the story. They give you these little access card keys. Okay, so guess what? It won't work. I can't get in the building where my room is at because the access card won't work. So, the guy props the door open, takes my access card, says here I'll get you another one. Okay, sounds good. And I proceed to get one of those little wagons and start unloading the motorbike. And pretty soon he comes back and he hands me the card. He goes, well, here's the card for your room. I said, okay, good. He says, now, the bad news is it doesn't work with our door. Oh, what do you mean it don't work with the door? Well, you can't get in the building with the key. Well, what good does the card do? Well, actually, if you go all the way around the other side of the building, down on the lower floor, you can get in. Um, huh? So he propped the door open, and after two trips, because the little cart was small, I finally got my 
um, all my gear, uh, well, I'll show you that in a minute, uh, in my room. Then I decide I'm going to go get something to eat. That really sounds good. So where do I go? They have a restaurant right here. I'll go in. And it's one of those restaurants, you know, we can't just serve normal food. We have to have fancy, fancy food. Well, I walk in, and I'm not really out of place. I hate to say this. I really wasn't. But I know that, you know, they, they want you to look nice when you come in. I have my motorbike outfit on. I've been riding a motorcycle, sweating like a pig. I probably smell. But I just told a lady, put me away from everybody else. Now I get this menu. It's got all these beers from all over the world. It's got all these wines from all over the world. And then I'm looking at the menu, and I don't recognize half the stuff on the menu. I'm like, I just want something plain because, you know what? I've been traveling so much the last few days, I haven't had a meal. And I'm not lying when I say that I've not really had a meal. Well, this morning I had a waffle. I guess you could kind of count that as a meal. But, no, I haven't been stopping for lunch. And when I get to the hotels at night, I'm tired. And it's, it's too late. The restaurants are all closed. So last night I had a little can of Pringles and a Coke. That was my supper. Good stuff. Two nights in a row I ate that. All right, so anyway, back to the story. So I go and I, I find this thing that appears to be a cheeseburger, and I, I just said, give me a cheeseburger and some fries. They gave me that. And they all looked at me really funny, like, boy, you know, can't you find something better than that to eat? And I'm just thinking, I just want to eat it in a hurry. I don't want to have, I want to sit here and wait for you to make some fancy steak and you know, bake it, broil it, do whatever you're going to do, and I just want something fast because i got stuff to do. Mm -hmm. You see how fast they were. It's 1.30 in the morning. I'm still working. All right, so I get my food. I eat it. Now I come back to the hotel, and guess what? I can't get in the building. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I got in the building. I couldn't get in my room. Now the room keys don't work with my room doors anymore. So now I have to walk all the way back up to the front desk. And the lady goes, well, I don't know why it doesn't work. It appears to be working fine here when I go run it to the whatever the card reader thing is. Okay. So they send somebody out with me who confirms I'm not an idiot. The cards don't work. Can't get in the building with the card. So she uses her master card to get in. Gets to my room, can't get in my room with the card. Hmm. Isn't that what I told them? So back we go again. Now they made new cards. Now I have like, I don't know how many. I, must, I, I think I got like four cards to this room. Who knows how long they're going to work. Anyway, they never did get a card for me that'll work back here where I'm parked, uh, uh, where the motorbike's parked. So to get stuff in and out and load it on the bike, I just prop the door open, I guess. But, um, uh, it again, you know. Then, oh, so so here we go. Now I'm. I, I said, you know what? I need to do some laundry. So I I, I have this Canadian currency, but their their machines take uh, the two dollar coins, and I I've only got uh, one of them, and I need two. So I go to the front desk, ma'am, can I get some change so I can do some laundry? So she says, sure. So I hand her a five. She comes back. She hands me my change. And then she says, uh, you know, the laundry's going to close in 20 minutes. And I said, 20 minutes. Um, why would it close in 20 minutes? Well, because we have people around here. Okay, what kind of people? Well, she don't know, but at 10 o'clock, the laundry closes. Ma'am, I need to do laundry really bad tonight. Uh, can you do it tomorrow morning? No, I need to do it tonight. Hmm, could be a problem. Going to close in 20 minutes. So, all right. So I go back to my room. Room key worked. Got in my room. Got all my laundry all piled up. I figure first thing in the morning, I'll do laundry. So, get this going. So I start working on this. Now I'm thirsty. So I run down, downstairs, by the laundry room that was supposed to close at 10 o'clock. There's a lady sitting in there doing laundry. I'm like, yes, her. She says, but nobody said anything about closing. So I went and grabbed my laundry, and I ran my laundry through real quick, 
and which is why I'm still up here doing this, because you can't do this while you're doing laundry. And I had to stay in the laundry room just in case they came, because I didn't want them to, you know what's going to happen next. They'll lock the laundry, and then all my clothes will be in the laundry locked. So I stayed with my clothes. All right, so long video. Uh, just some of the fun that we're having. Oh, I have to show you uh, what I've done here, though. All right, see the arrangement I have here? This is my arrangement. I have put a one of my panniers, and this thing weighs about, I, I swear, about 35 pounds. So I hope this table will hold it. I got that. And they, this is air conditioning in Alberta, apparently. I have the windows open, and I have the fan I'm trying to suck air in from outside because it's actually pretty nice inside. Uh, it's probably down to about 80 in here now, maybe. So, right, so there's a give you an overview of my mess in my room. Uh, I always like to get a room with two beds because one bed becomes like a bench. All right, so I bring all my stuff in and get everything all set up and yes, um, for those of you who want to know, look at all this wiring I bring. This is insane. It wasn't a stressful day. It was really kind of a fun day. However, I think I'm about ready to go to bed. What do you think? We'll see you next time.